Our family just went to Tokyo for the very first time, and the city really surprised us. So come along on our journey. But first, here's how we began. Okay, so we're heading to Japan um, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the first. Only, this is the only glimpse of our house that you guys are going to see. Yeah, sorry. As of now. Yeah. So the first leg is tomorrow, and so um, Sean is preparing some tools so that we can communicate in Japan. Well, first, because Daddy was like, oh, you need to learn how to speak Japanese, so I was doing it on Duolingo. Mm hmm. I like Duolingo. And I kind of quit, so I have a shortcut. You are a sleigh baddie queen. <laughs> so now we know how to say that in Japanese. Today we're gonna to be entering our cool room. Oh, our cool ah uh, room. Let's do this thing. There's no sink in there. I think it's in. Oh, this is nice when they separate it. And the kitchen. And daddy could like touch the ceiling. Oh, sink. Sit up. Sink. Oh, and wash washing machine. Shower. Shower. This is a door. Look at the tiny little bathtub. Oh my god. Oh my god. A mini tub. And living amazing you guys it's nice this right? is the only room that i truly so love and then you're gonna sleep in separate beds yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of uh oh the way in japan God. not a lot of king size beds here oh so there's and, two and look it has the all the good stuff see mm -hmm. awesome and a shower nice Okay, so we made it to Tokyo. Um, we checked into the Mimaru apartment hotel, and I have to shout out Tina at Hangry by Nature for the recommendation. This place is awesome. As you may know, Tokyo is kind of known for having like teeny, teeny, tiny hotel rooms, but this place is basically like a two bedroom apartment. So we have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a full, well, full kitchen, but like everything's like mini sized and a living dining area. So I think this is gonna be a really comfortable like home base for us to explore Tokyo for the next week. Now at this point, you may have noticed that we are missing a family member, a certain bald headed handsome man has not been spotted on either of the flights we took over or uh, in the car ride over. And that is because Serge is actually gonna be joining us tomorrow. The day before we were flying out, our whole basement flooded. Out of nowhere, there were these torrential downpours in New York. We probably had like three inches of water in that basement. And we were like, oh my God, we're leaving for Tokyo tomorrow. We can't leave it like this. Uh, thankfully that night, Serge and I were able to clean up most of it, but there were still things that needed to be addressed. And so Serge actually stayed behind to handle that. Um, and so he will be joining us one day late. But we we are starving right now and I think there's a 7-Eleven right around the corner so we're gonna go there and have our first 7-Eleven meal in Tokyo. So our room is at the end there and uh, this is like all outdoorsy. Everybody to 7-Eleven for the first time and I'm so excited. It looks so good. Avocado Doritos. Avocado Doritos. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sean found the rice ball section. So Sean found this, which looks like instant spam masubi. Of course. I think it's okay. 
I'm so excited to eat cup noodles in the place they were birthed. I'm thinking of getting some of this. So they have like uh, basically cooked rice and um, curry and things like that. So I think this will be a quick instant dinner for us. Okay, I'm getting some cold soba noodles. Of course, have to get a sake. We're on to the ice cream section. You found some mochi. Look at this, it looks like a waffle. Oh, and let's show the great thing. Oh yeah, it's like, because when we were in, I don't remember where, but they had like this peely thing, but it's like frozen. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is like soft serve, but like really solid. Oh, look at this. It is, but it looks delicious. Good morning, we are heading out uh, for a little walk. Serge should be here this afternoon. Um, but for now, we are gonna go, um, you know, we're in Japan, so of course we have to go get skincare. Oh, how could you not? So, and also, like, there's a few things I purposely didn't pack, knowing that, like, why pack it? I could get it here. So we just got our, I don't know how to pronounce it, Suka cards. Um, they're basically like these prepaid cards that you tap for the subway and trains, but you can also use them to pay for certain things like vending machines. So, we're gonna try it out. Sean is gonna see if it works. Oh, I love this one, but I think that makes it so loud. Look, you guys can get soup. Mm. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's hot. I think so. Let's get a Red Bull, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mission aborted. We're gonna find a different vending machine since this doesn't have what she wants. Okay, this one has better options. There's a couple things of juice. Yes, it's like That's probably like Yakult, the tiny drink. Oh. That would be my guess. Okay, get big tiny drink. And just get green, just in case it's just not like, bad. It's not bad. Yay! Yay! First vending machine purchase. Yay. Oh, it's grapefruit. It's just regular grapefruit. You guys, I'm gonna get some monster. <laughs> no, no monster for you. I'm My God! Imagine you on that. Ella's loud and energetic enough. <laughs> Ella's getting pure lemon oh juice. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's lemonade. Wow! Literally. Yay! Yummy! It's good. It's like a... Uh, it's not too sweet, which is good. Like the ice coffee. It's like grape juice, but it's like... It kind of tastes like the purple haichu. <laughs> what? It tastes like... <laughs> Sparkling, sweeter, sour lemonade. Okay, we found a skin a skincare store, so we're stocking up. Well, my favorites are here, and of course, way cheaper than in the U.S. And Sean got a cute a little thing of makeup. It's a little eyeshadow stick. Mm. And it's kind of the cute. All right, we're gonna try this ramen spot, and we're gonna order from that little machine there. Hopefully. We can figure it out. Okay, this is the machine. I think it's just cash. Maybe I put the cash in first? Yeah. Okay. All right.
<laughs> okay, so the one I, time I did not film, Ella actually got something. Why are you holding it like this? Oh What's my even god, inside? it's a squishy oh. egg! Oh. <sighs> Yay, squishy is my favorite. It's sticky. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Congrats. Cooker. Good morning. So we are off to a little food tour. Um, this one is really cool because it's going to be in a pretty residential neighborhood, um, kind of off the beaten path. So last night uh, we went to get our SIM cards. Always important now that Serge is here. And uh, then we had dinner at a place that specializes in broiled eel and also uh, the skewers that Japan is famous for. Um, and so that was really, really good. So yeah, looking forward to exploring more today. Girls, over here ready at the vending machines. First thing in the morning. It's our first day navigating the subway. Um, so far so good. We gave, our, onto the platform. <laughs> we gave ourselves like almost an extra hour of when we need to get there just in case we get to the lost. It was actually like pretty easy, by the way. We realized last night that the area that we're staying in is a little bit of a mild red light district. There's, yeah, a, there's just a couple of there's uh, a hotels. A couple hourly hotels, yeah, some yeah. bars with ladies dressed up specifically. But it actually it's like weird, like it is a red light district, but it feels like very tame and quite comfortable and family friendly at the same time. <laughs> this tour because I feel like this is a part of Tokyo that probably many travelers never come to. Um, it's very residential, very local. Not just that, but it honestly feels like it's got a small town feel. Yeah, it's just vibe. Uh, I'm gonna say 1600s. <laughs> Surprisingly, this pagoda was built in 2006. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> okay, so this temple is about a thousand years old, but just that one pagoda building is really new. This temple is known for, I guess, kind of like the theme is those little cats. If you've been to like a Japanese restaurant, you've probably seen them near the cashier. So they're basically kind of like symbols of good luck, prosperity, um, kind of attracting money into your life, that kind of thing. Hey everyone! So we're into a dog cafe. And if you don't know what a dog cafe is, it's pretty much like a cafe where there's like dogs everywhere that you can play with. So I'm so excited because I always wanted to go to a dog cafe. We'll Thank 
Is it time for a treat? Okay, well, Shizuku just made a poop and Shauna's going to pick up dog poop for the first time in her life. Your expectations? Yeah, it was so much fun. Yay. And so we got to do everything. Like we got to, I mean, we didn't get to, she didn't drink anything, but we got to clean yeah. her poop, we got to feed her snacks, <laughs> we got to wash her butt. Well, you guys did a great job. Thank you. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to go through kind of our breakfast situation here. So we do have this little kitchen with a toaster oven, a microwave, and a hot water maker. Um, and so we've just been having breakfast here. So there is no coffee maker. Um, so I've had to get uh, some little like powdered instant coffee. There's like various like latte mixes and stuff like that you can get, um, which are you know, pretty decent, but I'm also not a huge coffee snob. Um, but I guess, you know, if you're really into coffee, you can always bring your pour over situation with you. So for breakfast, the last couple days, I've just been having these onigiri, which are like rice balls from convenience stores. These are from 7-Eleven, um, but I've also had them from Family Mart, which I love. Um, basically, onigiri are just like rice balls, and then there's different types of fillings um, from like salmon to like salmon roe, pickled plum, all kinds of stuff. Really, really good. But this morning, I think I may do Western style, so to speak, and have like a croissant. Also have this little bun with whipped cream, which I know sounds weird, but uh, I grew up eating this in Hong Kong and it's really good. And Serge, you made some eggs, right? I did, and toast. Oh, and the eggs here look so different. Yeah, they're like super yellow, like, like the organic kind, you know, the one that you spend like $7 per dozen. <laughs> I don't know how much it costs here, but I'm sure it was, it was that expensive. And Sean, you having, ooh, is that egg bread? No, yeah, it's corn. Oh, corn. Okay. Very cool. Ella, what did you have? I had a mochito. Mm. Me too. Breakfast of champions. All right, so we're heading out to Shibuya. It's a little windy today. So Carmen decided to dress up like a local. So you tell me if she looks like a local or not. Got my baggy dress. So, it's all about loose fitting clothes. Yeah, here. this is what a lot of locals are wearing. Big dresses. But, um, Yes, Yeah. Every other woman has a bucket hat here. Like all about the sun protection, it's baby. A bucket hat or a Yankee, a Yankee hat, or like some kind of baseball cap. So yeah, that's the deal. We're at Shibuya Station. Yeah, famous station. We are waiting for a couple friends. Yes. Uh, who we're meeting, and if you've been watching our videos for a while, they will look familiar. Yes. Until you see who it is. Hey. <laughs> Amanda and Felix! <laughs> Hi guys! The foodie Ohana in Tokyo! <laughs> Alright. 
Alright guys, we are at this farmer's market today. Um, I believe this is like the United Nations University or something like that. But Amanda and Felix heard that this is a good spot. They've got a few stalls that are particularly interesting. So we're gonna go in and check it out. Alright, Amanda. So this is not your first time in Tokyo, obviously. But for those people who are visiting, like what would you say, you know, as a foodie expert, um, what are some of the maybe top things that people should try when they come here or top experiences? When you come to any city in Japan, not specifically Tokyo, just research what that specific city is known for. I mean, a place like Tokyo, they have pretty much everything, but if you go to like the smaller cities, you definitely want to try what they're most known for. But if you are in Tokyo, definitely look at the sign that says Osusume or recommendation because that's definitely going to be something that the shop itself recommends that they know is one of their best sellers and it will definitely be good. My biggest tip, just like anywhere else, if you see a long line somewhere, it's probably good. So, you know, maybe walk around, check out what, what people are lining up for and give it a try. So we're just waiting for our food now. Serge went to get pizza for the girls. There's a little food truck that looks, uh, that serves what looks like pretty decent pizza. And then I got food from this venison truck. And so we're gonna try a venison burger, which I've had venison before, but never a burger. So it should be interesting. All right, guys, here is the venison burger. The patty's really good. You can tell it's like lean. Mm. You know what I'm saying, it's very fatty. Put the caramelized onions and the brioche bun make it taste really good. Oh, flavor is good. I like the I like it with the onions. Oh man. <laughs> you don't even taste the gaminess. Not at all. You told me this was a hamburger, I believe. Today it has been really rainy, so we kind of just stayed in this morning. I also had to finish off editing a YouTube video. That's the thing about these trips. It's like the work doesn't really stop. Uh, so we kind of have to schedule things around it sometimes. But we are gonna brave the rain and try and get some lunch. There's a conveyor belt sushi place around here, which that's always fun. And then we may also hit up the arcade again, which is a good rainy day activity. <laughs> Oh, I think this is crab. There's different color plates here, so um, each plate has a different price depending on the color of the plate. So that's kind of how you know, but then they also gave us uh, this English menu, so we can kind of see what's what, uh, which was really helpful. I did some damage, as you can see from how many plates I had. How many? Me meanwhile, Sean's <laughs> little stuff. Could even make it to 10. <laughs> I'm done. These ones are my favorite. It's like crab and cucumber, and it's like a little bit spicy, and it's on rice, and it's so scrumptious. Which one is your favorite? That one? Did you try the squid one? Yes. How was it? <laughs> it's squiddy. <laughs> so my favorite was a mackerel. Oh, so good. Like, I always like mackerel sushi, but it's like the next level here in terms of like just the depth of flavor. So good. In other words, she says it's scrumptious. Scrumptious. <laughs> yeah! No! Here 
gonna get hurt. which is a very popular kind of art installation thing here. Um, it's a very gloomy day. Yeah. Uh, not too long, so it's good. Yeah, so hopefully we don't have to stand in the rain too long. Okay, so we have to take our shoes off, socks off, and our roll in your pants because some of the water stuff comes up to your knees. So we're going in. specify um, how well cooked your, you want your noodles, so hard, normal, or soft, and then also the taste, strong, normal, or light, like how strong the broth should be, and then also if you want, uh, I guess they add chicken oil, so the amount that you want. Alright, we got our ramen, looks so good! So <laughs> oh my goalie gracious. <laughs> when we first walked in here, I was a little concerned because this place is right around the corner from the Shibuya crossing. And also there's like a lot of English accommodations here and sometimes like the local spots tend to have better food um, and then the local spots have like no English to be found anywhere. So basically I was concerned that this would be like us eating at Bubba Gump's Times Square or something like that. But it's actually really, really good. So recommend this spot. I will link it below along with all the other places that we've gone to on this trip. Hey, look at these really cute soft serve cones. The girls just got comes with a little bear. Please don't eat me. I have a wife and kids. <laughs> oh my god. That's delicious. Okay, so we are at Takeshita Street and this is in the Harajuku section, uh, which is where you tend to find people doing like cosplay, you know, the whole Harajuku girls thing. A lot of the stores sell those kind of outfits, so we're gonna check it out. Hey look, it's us right there. <laughs> I look like Harry Potter. All of these are look really pretty, but like I have really big feet, so I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. Wow. It is like candy. So when I was in high school, this guy was my favorite character from Sanrio, Flat Butts Maru. Because he kind of captured how I felt at the time. It was sort of like Sanrio's version of Daria. La, 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 la. I got one! Taking it back. Bad Bats Maru's expression captures how I felt about being in high school and about my life in general at the time. <laughs> I got my melody. Aww. I got um, Sarah just what? twinning with me. Yeah, it's a match of my unique crew of little fanny pack. <laughs> And I got her too. She's so cute. Matching my nails. Cute. Oh yeah, let's let's take a moment to show Sean's nails that she's painted herself all the Sanrio characters. Not all, but well, most the major ones. Look, 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 look. So I have wow. my melody. I have my great teeth, my cannoli, and I've got this little my melody thingy. Wow. <laughs> this is Kirby's mad. And this is my little egg thingy. Can pop, pop right open. And I have cinema rolls. Got the emo fit on with the emo <laughs> characters. You know, 
my style. In her emo era. I'm loving it. Hey, we are off on a little date night tonight. Yes, Where the little we... ones are gone. <laughs> We're gonna do um, a little omakase dinner. We're a little disappointed because we don't get to sit at the counter. Even though we have a reservation and there's like mad space. Oh really? We prepaid? Oh my god. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. With that. But we got our beers and we can still enjoy the food, so. First course is red snapper. Here we have scallop and bonicho. Next dish we have salmon roe. Looks like some rice on the bottom. Sea bass and Spanish mackerel. And next course is abalone. Looks like some kind of a clear broth soup. Flounder. This looks really good. It's got a nice sear on it. We've got shrimp over here. And we have squid over here. Next round is we've got tofu, uh, toro tuna, and some pickles. Soy sauce tuna and fatty tuna. Oysters. Sea urchin, which is one of my faves. Tuna hand rolls. This is really, really good. An egg and eel. We also have a clam soup. This is a, a cucumber roll. Okay, it looks like we came to the end. We've got our green tea and our watermelon, so we made it. What do you think, Serge? I think the food was amazing. I kind of felt like I wasn't able to finish it all, but it was, I think it was 18 courses. So if you're gonna come here, definitely, I would say call and just find out, like, how do you secure the counter? seating because it's hard. not it's not clear on the website everybody had to reserve so it's not like we walked in like we reserved we put our credit card down as a deposit so we did everything we thought we were supposed to do the food was amazing uh the service is good everybody and the was price really was right nice. yeah, the price it was, was only eight thousand yen per person per so it's person. about sixty dollars us so yeah. considering this is like a budget omakase i thought the food was excellent generous portions quality seemed great but definitely check the whole counter seating thing because yeah. we're not sure how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning! So today we are off to the Tsujiki Fish Market. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Um, and this is a really famous fish market here in Tokyo. There's tons of different food stalls, um, obviously a lot of seafood there, but also all kinds of other street foods. So Sean's favorite vegetable in the whole entire world and basically food is cucumber and look at this Ice cucumber on a stick. I don't think you guys understand how much I love cucumbers. I eat them like three times a day. Like literally. Every single day. Well at least when we're at home. Every single day. <laughs> this is one thing Sean is happy to spend her own yam on. Oh, I'm so curious what this tastes like. I think it's pickled pieces. It's like a giant pickle. It's a sponge. It's a sour? Like a sour Soft and tender. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they have pasta rice, like the one inside of the mouth. Oh, I see it. Egg, a little bit sweet. Yeah. It's like chilled. <laughs> it looks like a chocolate snowman. Let's try it. Cheese. Oh, yeah. It's mochi inside. It was a matcha. Now that is scrum divilessly scrum Okay, so we were in the fish market and then look who we ran into. Oh God, Janelle oh. on a jet and her dad, John, right? right. So if you don't follow Janelle, um, she 
I would say primarily on TikTok. Yeah, right? that's yeah. her biggest platform. She does great uh, travel content, uh, also a lot of like aviation stuff. Um, so she's awesome. So we're actually going to meet back up later tonight for dinner. Um, so yeah, it's always fun to run into so wild. people you know online but have not met IRL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we actually didn't try that many things when we were in the market. So one thing to know is that I don't know if it's just today or what, but all of the stalls seem to start closing down around 1-2 o'clock. So if you're going to come here, definitely do it early. I'm a little disappointed because I feel like we could have tried more things, um, but there's always next time. this together. We had a hard time finding the spot though. Yes. Janelle actually beat us to it. She was supposed to arrive later than us, but uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That should just be like, that should be in the like the name, like above the 7-Eleven. <laughs> so here is my coat suit, and then these are the little stoves where we will be cooking them. Okay, so this is how the beef comes, so it's like super, super rare, and then you just Pop it onto here and you can cook it to the doneness that you prefer. We ate at some fantastic restaurants while we were in Tokyo, but we also had some pretty incredible street food. And there's one absolutely delicious street food that is totally unique to this country. So check out this video where I show you what it is and why it's a must try when you come to Japan. <laughs> 